Hi friends, welcome back. My name's Crystal. Thanks for stopping by again. Um, I thought I'd jump on and share another quick little haul for you guys. Um, the Cricut knockoff supplies are making their way through Ontario now at Dollar Tree. So I did get my hand on a few more items. So I wanted to show you what else is out there. Um, so let's jump in with that. So, um, the store I was at had every color of the vinyl except no glitter vinyl. Now, um, a friendly viewer, Cheryl, let me know below that there is also a rose gold glitter. So thanks for the heads up, Cheryl. I was not able to find it. But I did find black and white, so I just grabbed those. Um, people are reviewing these and they don't seem too happy, but I'm a rookie at it, so I'm sure they'll just do fine by me, but um, the professional people and the really gung-ho Cricut users aren't too happy with the vinyl. They say it's too thin and flimsy, but you know what? You can't go wrong for $1.25. Dollar Tree, you did a good thing, so thank you for putting this out for us. So, um, yeah, I did find, um, they had every color again, like I said, except for any of the glitters, so there was black, white, red, blue, yellow, green. And then apparently the glitters are gold, silver, and rose gold. And then they have the transfer tape in the long rolls, and then they also cut it in half and have the short rolls. Now I did pick up some of the tools as well so I could show you what they have. Um, so this one is called the Craft Scraper. So this is when you're transferring your prints off of your transfer tape onto your project. And I think these come colored as well, like the top handle part. I think they come in a purple, but mine only had the full white one left. This one's called the Craft Spatula, and it's got the color of the blue on the tip. But this is to easily scrape and clean cutting mats. So I guess that's taking the stickiness off the mats. So there's that one. And they do resemble the Cricut brand. I mean, the style, the tool, like everything says Cricut. And then this one is the Craft Picker. Easily remove tiny cuts, separate vinyl and iron on cutouts from the liner. So there's this one and that handle is just the peach color. So yeah, those are the tools they have. They also put out those in this display area, the green cutting mats that we've all seen and used before. And um, they also do have, I think it's a 12 by 12 sheet of vinyl. Um, I, I guess they're just square vinyl pieces and some of them came in prints. I seen like the world map on some and then I seen a lot of um, just plain colored ones, but yeah, so they put out that along with the end cap that I was looking at um, for more vinyl. So yeah, that's what I found for vinyl. So hope you guys are on the hunt and finding what you're after. And yes, it's out and it's coming by quickly. So I'm glad everybody's getting a chance, hopefully, to get out and find some for yourself. I found these awesome blackboard labels. Um, these come in an 18 piece. I was doing some reorganization in my kitchen cupboards and so I thought these um, labels would look really nice on the containers that I'm putting like my flour and my sugar in and everything because right now I just keep them in the bag. They come in inside of a Ziploc bag and I thought I'm gonna like step it up a notch and make it look better in my kitchen. So they had um, two other styles of these so I just like the design of these ones. So I grabbed those. And then they had restocked somewhat of my Easter department. So where I had said I'd never seen these at my Dollar Tree, they came in. And they're just the mini bunnies. And there's eight in a pack. And there was only one left on the shelf. So again, I grabbed that one. So I have two packs of these to work with now. And they also had this large bunny. So that's a nice size, size of my hand. So they had this one, and again, they only had one left. 
But the other items they had were, I believe, three different sizes of the Styrofoam eggs. So I did not grab any of those, but they came in eggs shapes as well. And then I have been on the hunt in Dollar Tree for, I tell you, two years for this, and it's finally back. It's the Salon Selectives Dry Shampoo, and I love this stuff. Um, while it's been not on the shelves in Dollar Tree, I've been using different brands like Dove and Batiste and um, Tresemme and so many different brands, but this one, you can't go wrong for $1.25. It's seven ounces or 200 grams or 345 ml, and it smells so pretty too. It smells like apples. So I grabbed four cans of these while they're there. So I really love it. And it says no visible residue. Yes, there is residue. My hair is dark, so when I spray it, I do see the white. But when you um, mix it in, I mean, it disappears. It's fine. I love this stuff. I'm glad it's back. And then um, I swear by this stuff too. It's the blue tin of the blue uh, Dove Intensive Cream. This is a really nice thick cream and it goes on really nicely and has a beautiful smell. So I'm glad Canada has these. We've had them for quite some time, but they started out in the States and that's when I first tried it. And so I do love it so much. So I grabbed myself a new one of those. And then um, LA Colors came out with their Sunday and ice cream line. So I only grabbed this one lip balm and this one's in the pineapple. Who doesn't love a tropical flavor on their lips? So I grabbed pineapple. They had cherry, chocolate, and vanilla. And then they also came in the little pots where you use your finger. And so those ones were creative too. They had a mint chip and an orange. And again, I believe vanilla and chocolate. So those are out there now too. So that's real fun. And then I'm going to dump over, jump over to Dollarama now. And I find these are such a great deal for a dollar only. Is the 30 larger size of the zipper seal bag. So they're a medium size and they are 7 by 8. And I just think for a dollar that is amazing. 30 bags. So I grabbed those bags at Dollar Rama versus Dollar Tree. So when I see them, I grab them. Um, a dollar fifty for these decorative rhinestones. So I just grabbed the pink version. I believe there was a green and a blue as well, but they're the flat backs and they come in various shapes. We see squares and hearts and circles. So yeah, I just thought that was a great value for $1.50, so I grabbed that pack. This was also $1.50. Um, not sure how many are in here, but um, they're decorative um, fabric buttons. And these are like a gray and white or almost a black and white um, pattern on them. And I just thought they're so farmhouse, I had to grab them. So they'd be cute as a little um, decorative touch on the corner. If you're doing a wall plaque or a decorative sign, um, maybe a mini wreath, you could throw a few of these on with your flowers. But um, yeah, I just thought that was really cute. They came in multiple colors. And these little jars also, they had little clothes pins and buttons. And so they had a whole assortment in a tray. So. There was only one of these black ones, so I grabbed that for me. And then, um, if you've seen some of my previous hauls, Hot Wheels at the Dollar Rama, a dollar fifty. But now I found a third duck. <laughs> I've collected two of these ducks so far. Um, I just think they're adorable. But this one. I believe it's a glow in the dark version. So I needed to grab him to add to my little collection of ducks. So I have three of these Hot Wheel ducks, all identical other than the colors now. So they're just too cute. So I couldn't leave it there. I needed to bring it home. Um, these look yummy, $1.25, 140 gram package. They're just the sour straws, but there's a filling in them. 
to like a cream filling. So I kind of had a sweet tooth when I was shopping that day. So I picked them up. I have not opened them yet. Good girl, right? So we'll see how those turn out. Um, I love this. It was a dollar. It's just a hair tie. But I love how the beads go all the way around it. So I think that'll look pretty once. It's in my hair in a ponytail, so I just thought it was really pretty. So I grabbed that one. And then finally, Crayola, take note, permanent markers with comfort grip. There are 24 markers in here, people. 24 markers for $4, so. Um, it's hit and miss to find these, but they're out there right now. So good luck at finding them because they all also have just the smaller pack. I think it's an eight or a 12 pack, but if you're lucky enough to find this heavy duty big pack, jumbo pack, 24 markers, $4, I'll take that home any day. So yep, that's it for today. Again, um, go out and see what you can find at your uh, local Dollar Tree, Dollarama. Um, comment below if uh, you were successful in finding what you were after. And until the next time, guys, thanks again for spending time with me and we'll see you. Have a great day, bye.